He's been great, and I think the biggest thing is watching this kid understand the game and make the adjustments on the fly, but I think the Cardinals got him at the right time. He was hot. He was nothing left for him to prove in Memphis. He had 34 games. He had 15 bombs in 34 <laughs> games. Like, get me out of here, right? But I, when you look at the approach and you watch these guys, the best thing for me is what, what makes them – Great. What makes these young guys understand the game is being able to take this swing from the minor leagues, come up to the big leagues, and not change much. Be who you are. You see the leg kick. I'm going to talk about it in one second because he, he had an article that he talked about how getting on the backside has allowed him to sort of see the ball a little bit longer and be able to put the ball in play. This, this right here plays because of just how easy it is for him to get from A to B. The A to B swing is how you can get the hands through the zone, off your backside. This is a night he had. He went four for four with two bombs in Milwaukee the other night. But another guy that's moved positions as far as when they get when they acquired Nolan Arenado, he was playing third base down in minors. And then he went over to second base and put his ego aside and say, I'm going to do whatever I can to help this team. But look at the splits right here. This is what I'll talk about. When you're in the minor leagues, you're saying, okay, this is going to get me to the big leagues. But when I get to the big leagues, do I change? No. I pretty much stay the same. And I stay middle of the field, so it helps me. And I, and I, I just want to highlight how much he put emphasis on being on his backside and allowing himself to get through. Oliver Marmol, his manager, said, look, he struck, he, he struck out a little bit in the minors. He struck out 152 times a couple years yeah. ago. And he was like, you got to cut that down if you're going to be successful at the big league level. And this right here is just solid as far as looking at these two youngsters, understand the game, understand at their, at their young ages of how you sort of have longevity in this sport and not get sent back down to AAA. I was the main focus for me. Julia, you hit it around the head. When you get to the big leagues, it's about staying. There's no, like, coming up and then, you know, having a cup of coffee and then sending me back down there while I'm getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning and sitting in the middle seat on the plane that I don't want to be on. It's not private. <laughs> I like yeah. the private jets. I just do. And these guys are understanding. Preach, Cliff. How you have to play <laughs> and, and, and sort of, you know, move up the rankings. Understand you don't have to do too much if you're Jeremy Pena. You're, the team is solid. This guy, Nolan Gorman, is balling on a team that actually needs him to go out there and do his do his And thing. just one quick point, that Cardinals clubhouse, you think about the hitting conversations that go on in that room. Arenado, Goldschmidt, Edmund, right. now Gorman, Albert, Sorry. Yachty, you got Wayno Ooh. on the pitching side. There's yeah. a lot of wisdom in that room to guide them through what's going to be a compelling race in the NL Central.